Ivan Petrovich Pavlov was born on 26 September 1849. He was a Russian and Soviet experimental neurologist and physiologist known for his discovery of classical conditioning through his experiments with dogs. Pavlov contributed to many areas of physiology and neurological sciences. Most of his work involved research in temperament, condition and involuntary reflex actions. Pavlov performed and directed experiments on digestion, eventually publishing the work of the digestive glands in 1897 after 12 years of research. His experiments earned him the 1904 Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine. These experiments included surgically extracting portions of the digestive system from non-human animals, severing nerve bundles to determine the effects, and implanting fistulas between digestive organs and an external pouch to examine the organs' contents. This research served as a base for broad research on the digestive system, Further work on reflex actions involved involuntary reactions to stress and pain. Pavlov was always interested in biomarkers of temperament types described by Hippocrates and Galen. He called these biomarkers properties of nervous systems and identified three main properties. The first one is strength, second one is the mobility of nervous processes and the third one is the balance between excitation and inhibition and derived four types based on these three properties. He extended the definitions of the four temperament types under study at the time. Choleric, phlegmatic, sanguine and melancholic, updating the names to the strong and impetuous type, the strong equilibrated and quiet type, the strong equilibrated and lively type and the weak type respectively. Pavlov and his researchers observed and began the study of transmarginal inhibition, the body's natural response of shutting down when exposed to overwhelming stress or pain by electric shock. This research showed how all temperament types responded to the stimuli the same way, but different temperaments move through the responses at different times. He commented that the most basic inherited difference was how soon they reached this shutdown point and that the quick to shut down have a fundamentally different types of nervous system. Pavlov carried out experiments on the digestive gland as well as investigated the gastric function of dogs and eventually won the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1904, becoming the first Russian Nobel laureate. A survey in the Review of General Psychology, published in 2002, ranked Pavlov as the 24th most cited psychologist of the 20th century. Pavlov's principles of classical conditioning have been found to operate across a variety of behavior therapies and in experimental and clinical settings such as educational classrooms and even reducing phobia with systematic desensitization. The basics of Pavlov's classical conditioning serve as a historical back for current learning theories. However, the Russian physiologist's initial interest in classical conditioning occurred almost by accident during one of his experiments on digestion in dogs. Considering that, Pavlov worked closely with non-human animals throughout many of his experiments. His early contributions were primarily about learning in non-human animals. However, the fundamentals of classical conditioning have been examined across many different organisms, including humans. The basic underlying principles of Pavlov's classical conditioning have been extended to a variety of settings such as classrooms and learning environments. Classical conditioning focuses on using preceding conditions to alter behavioral reactions. Classical conditioning set the groundwork for the present-day behavior modification practices such as antecedent control. Pavlov's early experiments used manipulation of events to stimuli preceding behavior such as a tone to produce salivation in dogs, much like teachers manipulate instructional learning environments to produce positive behaviors or decrease maladaptive behaviors. The concept for which Pavlov is famous is the condition reflex, which he developed jointly with his assistant Ivan Tolochinov in 1901. This concept was developed after observing the rates of salivation in dogs. Pavlov noticed that his dogs began to salivate in the presence of the technician who normally fed them, rather than simply salivating in the presence of the food. If a buzzer or metronome was sounded before the food was given, the dog would later come to associate the sound with the presentation of the food and salivate upon the presentation of the second stimulus alone. Tolochinov, whose own term for the phenomenon had been reflex at a distance, communicated the results at the Congress of Natural Sciences in Helsinki in 1903. Later the same year, Pavlov more fully explained the findings at the 14th International Medical Congress in Madrid where he read a paper titled The Experimental Psychology and the Psychopathology of Animals. As Pavlov's work became known in the West, particularly through the writings of John B. Watson and B. F. Skinner, the idea of conditioning as an automatic form of learning became a key concept in the developing specialism of comparative psychology and the general approach to psychology that underlay it, behaviorism. Pavlov's work with classical conditioning was of huge influence on how humans perceive themselves, their behavior and learning processes. His studies of classical conditioning continue to be central to modern behavior therapy. It is popularly believed that Pavlov always signaled the occurrence of food by ringing a bell. However, his writings record the use of a wide variety of stimuli, including electric shocks, whistles, metronomes, toning forks and a range of visual stimuli in addition to the ring of a bell. 
In 1994, Catania cast doubt on whether Pavlov ever actually used a bell in his experiments. Pavlov was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1904. He was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1907, elected an international member of the United States National Academy of Sciences in 1908. He was awarded the Royal Society's Copley Medal in 1915 and elected an international member of the American Philosophical Society in 1932. He became a foreign member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1907. Pavlov's dog, the Pavlovian session and the Pavlov's typology are named in his honor. The asteroid 1007, Pavlovia and the lunar crater Pavlov were also named after him. Ivan Petrovich Pavlov died on 27 February 1936 at the age of 86.